Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck and today I'm gonna to be doing a hair tutorial. So I did a start to finish install. This one does come courtesy of Harella Hair. This is the beauty here. The lace is absolutely gorgeous. You're gonna see two different styles in this video. I kind of just do like a no part, like flip over style. Went out with the girls, had some gymnastics fun for this Friday night. And then I came home and decided I wanted to amp it up First, I was gonna go in with my curling iron and curl the ends, but the body wave is definitely body waving. So I just felt like, why work hard when you don't need to? Instead, I opted for a half up, half down, and I did the curls. So you're definitely gonna get a two in one with this one. You're gonna see what it looks like. Just put a nice little cute, sexy flip over method, and then you're also gonna see it styled like this, like so. Love this vibe. It definitely is me. As we're going into the weekend, it's my anniversary weekend with my husband. So happy anniversary, husband. I'm going to go ahead and jump into two years at that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We are 10K away from 300,000 subscribers on this channel. Yeah, so let's just get started. Okay, ladies, let's jump right into it. For starters, let's go ahead and moisturize our hairline. So I do moisturize my entire head, but because I have the most progress to receive or obtain, I've been really working on every time I put the wig cap on, making sure I moisturize my hairline. I feel like the wig cap on the hairline definitely takes a toll. Although um, a lot of people think it's the wigs, it's the hairline in my opinion. This is the wig straight out of the box. We are working with Horella hair today. And as you guys already know, they have some beautiful hair. I made sure to show you guys the inside construction of the cap. The only prep we're going to do before we put the wig on is we're going to tint the lace using a concealer. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put my wig cap that I've already been wearing back on. This is what the wig looks like on. She is a 13 by 4 lace front wig. The texture is body wave. And as you guys can see, the body wave is body waving there goes my little son so i'm just trying her on for size and this is what she looks like from the back she is i believe 20 inches in length but you guys know you can get her in the density you want as well as the length you want and then of course it is pretty affordable when you start out with like the lowest density and like the lowest length i believe it's just a little over 100 bucks so i think it's fairly priced also to prep before we bond her down, let's go ahead and cut off the excess lace around the ears. This is going to help the wig to fit like a glove. Here I'm showing you guys the parting space. As I did mention, you do get four inches and this is what it looks like. You guys can see it's a little bit more warm and golden tone because I did go ahead and tint the lace um, and then now I'm going to just send that baby hair they provided back. I'm showing you guys a good look at what the lace looks like and I think it's awesome. It's absolutely beautiful. It melted. It's soft. It's everything and more. Today I'm cutting off the excess lace with an eyebrow razor. I do buy mine in bulk and I've had the same bulk for over a year now. I've just, I don't know, I like to use the eyebrow razor because it gives a jagged edge which helps it to look a lot more seamless along the hairline. After we cut off the excess lace, we went ahead and bond down. I went ahead and used the Eben spray. I feel like a spray adhesive definitely is a easier option and it leaves like less residue when it comes to washing and maintaining your wigs over a long period of time. I love to work in sections, so I did bond the center down, and then I did one side, and then I did the opposite side, being sure to blow dry on a cool setting for the best looking result. Now that she's bonded down and the lace is tinted, this is what she looks like, absolutely gorgeous. You guys know when I stop mid-install to go ahead and do a whole Instagram situation, everything is everything and I am feeling it. So I definitely decided against having a parting in this one. I thought it looked beautiful and supernatural without, I feel like the, what is the meme? I feel like a Puerto Rican in this hair. That's exactly what I feel like. I feel like the natural texture is just so beautiful that it's just like why dumb it down and add curls so we're going to definitely go natural 
one today. I am going to add some baby hair. You generally, literally do not need it at all. But you guys know I just like what I like. So I did do my signature little two swoops, one above each arch of the eyebrow. I cut them pretty long, so I will be going in and trimming along the way. I did add a little bit of more of that even spray. I kind of feel like the tackiness of the spray sometimes works great as a... Um, edge control if you will for the baby hair also in the center I didn't do any baby hair but you guys seen there were some stray hairs I cut them super short and kind of just let them lay there this is going to give like a messy natural look it makes it look a lot more natural it's more natural to me than when you do like a super clean hairline in my opinion but we are going to clean it up so it's going to look natural and a little bit like the the stray baby hair is going in different directions but you also want to make sure that the hair that is there is melted so dynamic duo you guys already know is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb i love to go in with that hot comb on the highest setting and really just take my time making sure that each strand of hair is as straight and melted as i can possibly get it this makes an extreme difference and i just feel like without this step my installs never look professional so definitely invest one of the hot combs i have them linked in the description box they are for my website now generally I was not going to do sideburns but I was just feeling myself and I felt like this was such an easy install. I felt like I can just turn it up a notch and add. So I took this hair that was typically or I keep saying typically but I took this piece of hair that was meant to like go behind my ears with no baby hair. I brought it forward and bonded it down. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim it short and then swoop the baby hair. I did use the edge control from bdecbity.com. Be sure to check it out in the description box as well. Now I'm going to put on my melt belt and work on the ends. At this point, I wasn't sure if I was going to curl the hair or what. But once I put the melt belt on, I just realized it didn't need any work at all. It didn't need any product. And so it just was like, if it's not broke, please just don't fix it. Don't fix something that is already so perfect. Good hair with a good texture is hard to come by. Keep it as is. So I went ahead and pretty much tinted or touched up the tint of the lace at the hairline and then I went out with the kids it was um gymnastics day so I went ahead and hung out with them it came back to finish the install and this is when I decided to do half up half down and with the half up half down I did pull some hair forward to make like the little baby hair bangs or whatever you want to call them they looked absolutely amazing but I did want to make sure that they were pressed out really good to press them out makes a huge, huge difference. Now I'm just going to go ahead and comb the hair and work it up until I get the desired look. Because the hair is like a natural texture, it's okay if it's a little bit frizzy and imperfect. But I definitely want to make sure it looks like smooth and flat in the front so it looks like it's coming out of the scalp. Also be sure to check out the description box for a coupon code. I believe I have one there that you can get at least $10 off. Now that the ponytail is done, I'm going to go ahead and do the sideburn on this side. Originally, when I did my hair before I left out, um, I ran out of time, so I didn't do this side with the sideburn. But now I am making up for my mistake and adding that soup little sideburn. And the great thing is if on any given day you don't want to wear the sideburns or the baby hair, you can send it back and you don't have to wear them at all. Now let's go ahead and curl the bangs. I am using a T3 curling iron. I believe this one is one inch. I'll have the, the specs and the direct link to this in the description box. Even though the hair is wavy, I felt like I didn't want to crimp it and I didn't want to leave it because when I pulled it forward, it did kind of like fall kind of straight. And I feel like it looks amazing. You didn't really have to like curl the rest of the hair for it to match. You could kind of tease it up so that you, you know, if you want it a little bit to drop, but it's going to just naturally drop on its own. The texture is beautiful and I love everything about this look. Be sure to check it out directly in the description box. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, ladies, are we feeling this look? Yes or no? I absolutely love it. So this one is a body wave texture. It's 22 inches in length. I believe this is a 13 by 4 lace wig. All of the details on this is directly in the description box. And I am feeling it. So, so with body wave, I typically um, just don't know until I install whether it's going to body wave where I need to like just do nothing or is it going to body wave where like it needs to be curled. I love, love, love the texture 
on this one so you guys seen i did the install portion and then i ran out of time had to get the girls to gymnastics my plan was to come back and curl it i haven't used this one in a while and this is the t3 everyone has the white one i have the navy blue one with gold and i was going to go ahead and curl it but i got compliment i got a compliment at gymnastics and some lady was like i love your hair so i was like i really love this texture and i didn't want to like add heat and i just loved this and i just felt like why do too much when you don't have to do much at all so i did opt for a half up half down and i did curl these pieces just to kind of give the vibe i was going for and i'm in love so this one did come from Harella. you guys know i do um love this company and i work with them often they really have good lace um so this is the box here open her up and inside you do have a dust bag Got a nice pair of press-ons. I get so nervous wearing the long ones because I'm very clumsy when it comes to press-ons. But these are definitely beautiful. They have the snowflake with the burgundy. I already have a pair of these. Super nice. And then we got some weight caps. Also inside you do have um, your mail belt. Mink lashes. As well as a little kabuki brush. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Be sure to check out Harella Hair. Direct link, as I mentioned, is in the description box. Also, you'll find everything we use to complete this look. I'm Ashley. Thank you guys so much for rocking with your girl in this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.